This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Thursday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, Praying with Fervor and Detachment. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. Unless your friend were truly a very close friend, you may hesitate in waking them and their family at midnight to ask to borrow some food. And even if it were a very close friend, you would probably hesitate for fear of disturbing them. But in this parable, the friend is God. Jesus just finished giving his disciples the Our Father prayer. And now he adds this parable as a way of expressing the great confidence and determination with which we must pray to the Father. The parable concludes by stating that even if the person in bed does not get up to meet the request, They will do so because of his persistence. And though God always is attentive to our prayer, our persistence is an essential quality we must have. When we pray to God with persistence, never doubting the goodness and generosity of God, God will pour forth upon us everything that is good. Of course, If our prayer is for something that is selfish or not in accord with the will of God, then all the begging in the world will not be effective. But when we pray as the Our Father prayer teaches us, then we can be certain that our fidelity to that prayer, prayed with the utmost trust and persistence, will effect the good gifts of the will of God in our lives. One of the seven petitions of the Our Father prayer is, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is a truly beautiful petition that requires not only ongoing persistence, but also detachment from our preference in life. To pray that God's will be done and that His kingdom come, is a way of also saying that you surrender all of your preferences to God. You come to God acknowledging that your will may not be God's will. Thus, this petition expresses detachment in a powerful way. Reflect today upon the importance of praying with the utmost fervor and persistence to God. Reflect also upon the importance of doing so with detachment. What does God want of you? What is His holy will for your life? Seek that will and that will alone with all your heart and you will discover that His will truly will come to be in your life. Let us pray. My perfect Lord, your will and your will alone is what I want and seek. I seek it with all the powers of my soul. Help me to grow in confidence in you and your goodness. May I trust in you and believe with all my heart that you will truly bring forth your holy will in my life if I only persist in prayer and trust. Jesus, I trust in you.